big win on Tuesday. Congratulations against Sydney FC, um, making the finals. How do you feel? Yeah, thank you. Um, pretty good, you know. Uh, it's the first cup final for the club, so um, it's going to be a very special occasion uh, for everyone involved. And yeah, we're just super excited to get the win. And um, yeah, it's going to be amazing. Hopefully, we can um, jag the home final. Um, I feel like it'll be something amazing for the community. And um, yeah, it's just very exciting times. That was going to be my next question. What, what are the chances of this uh, home final? The coast. Yeah, hopefully it's high. I mean, um, we managed to have a home uh, final l uh, in the league last year, and um, everyone everyone that got involved there saw how big of an occasion that was for the club. And I think this is uh, even more greater experience for everyone involved. There's it's a silverware game, so um, yeah, it should be pretty special. And if we can get the home home final, then yeah, it would be amazing. You've got a big game tomorrow, it's the first home game of the year. How does it feel to be getting back in front of that home crowd and, and what are your thoughts ahead of the game? Yeah, it's good. It's going to be a tough game for sure. Um, but we're just focused on ourselves and we know that if we play the way we want to play, um, that we should be able to put on a good performance and, um, you know, make the fans that come out happy and, um, you know, that's, that's what we're about. We just want to make everyone as proud as possible and, um, you know, get the points and, and uh, you know, keep moving forward. And you've had a bit of a disrupted um, Christmas period. How has that affected your training? Um, yeah, it's been a bit on and off uh, through the new year and Christmas period, but um, most of the boys are back fit and healthy now. And um, I think Tuesday night shows a lot for where we're at uh, fitness-wise as well. Uh, most boys like running out the 90, which is, um, pretty remarkable really without playing a game for five weeks or so and you know most of those boys um, like caught COVID and didn't train for like seven to ten days so um, yeah we just want to build on that performance which was a good performance and we want to just keep moving forward uh, and hopefully we can do that tomorrow. Awesome thank you so much. No that's all good thank you. Awesome uh, Jack do you want to continue with off? Yeah, I was just wondering, Kyle, obviously, um, it's been a really young defensive line and you've kind of been like the leader within it. So how's it been, I guess, average age of like 21.25 you know, years old? And how's it been just being that leader amongst just like, you know, just a young defensive line? Yeah, um, obviously, we've got uh, Louis playing a bit more this year and then Hawley stepping in for RT since he's been injured and then obviously Faz debuting this year as well. Um, yeah, it's pretty young. Um, I consider like most of us to be leaders anyway, so we all help each other out as much as possible. But yeah, to stand up um, in such a young backline, it's it's kind of been a bit weird because you look around and you try and lean on people for experience, and you're like, well, I'm probably the most experienced here. But um, no, nah, it's good. Those boys have played unreal so far, and they're really stepping up. And it's good to see so much confidence in them so, uh, like so early. It's only been five games this year in the league and you know a few cup games and the way they've grown from pre-season to now is just amazing and it's good to see. Uh, and it just shows that um, you know the local kids do have a lot of talent and it's just all about finding the right combinations and getting their confidence up and you know, yeah, so it's been good. And I guess obviously you mentioned that you are kind of like in those awkward maybe positions, you're the one that has to step up and be that leader. Has, is that something more I spoke to you about previously, like before the season? Because obviously, is it, was it more of an unprecedented role you had to take up? Or is it something you've always been towards? Um, yeah, look, um, when you're playing at the back, I guess that's kind of, you've got to be vocal and, and loud the whole time. And, um, you know, I really um, focused on that last year and and uh, you know me and RT had a really good partnership and and we really led from the back and through the centre there and that's the, was one of the main focuses last year and I think that's just helped carry it on over to this year and then obviously work on it a bit more because the back line's like way younger but um, yeah the main focus has just been you know making sure you got a lead centre backs are pretty much you see everything on the field all the time so you just got to be loud and vocal and just try and be as supportive as you can to everyone around you
Thanks, Kai. Best of luck tomorrow. Cheers, mate. And Andrew? Yeah, uh, coming off uh, coming off the win against Sydney FC, it's the Mariners' fourth consecutive clean sheet. Um, is there a, is there a special source to it, or just like what's been going around the camp that's allowed you know to keep that clean sheet streak going? Yeah, um, it's pretty it's pretty good little stat, I guess. Um, considering like where we've come from, I mean, uh, two seasons ago, we probably cop the most goals in the league and. Um, I think it just stems from everyone just gaining confidence every game and you, you know you look around the change room and you see like young Farrell and young Hawley and young Louis Miller and um, you know all the boys up top you just look around you see them growing in confidence they start speaking on the field and then you look around and everyone's just like well everyone's on the top of their game so I've got to be there too and I want to go with them. Um, it's been really good, you know, and we, we're just fighting for each other and we know that if we can, you know, keep the score sheet clean for the opposition that we've got a pretty good chance of winning as many games as possible. So that's just our main goal and we're just fighting for each other every game so far and, you know, we want to keep that going, of course. Yeah, that's all for me. Thank you. This one from me. Uh, the Socceroos, congratulations. Um, when did you hear the news and when did Graham Martin give you the phone call? Um, it was like Wednesday Arvo after um, our cup game and it took me by surprise to be honest and, and um, yeah just lost the words and like just so stoked. Um, it's just a massive thing and yeah it's pretty crazy and just like really humbled and appreciative to have that opportunity and yeah I can't wait to get into camp and just learn and gain that experience from all the, you know, experienced boys that have played for soccer for years now, and yeah, it's just going to be unreal. And what was the reception around the camp here? Did the boys keep a lot of congratulatory messages for getting the ball up? Yeah, they've been super supportive. Um, um, yeah, they've been so good. It's just like super weird still. I can't really like wrap my head around it, but yeah, um, the boys have been great and. Um, yeah, I just can't wait to like make everyone proud.